Max, we're going to start the vehicle. This is... Hi, I'm Max. I'm a beginner for, for driving. Um, I've had a little bit of experience of, the, of having lessons, but I, had a, I was originally doing manual. Um, I then kind of felt it was a bit difficult having to concentrate on the gears. Like I was always taking my eyes off the road. So then I spoke to Scott and he, he's safe to say he's converting me to automatic. Yeah. It's a lot easier. It's a lot simpler. It's just you feel more comfortable, confident as well. Mm -hmm. that You don't need to always keep it down to the left. And you can just sit back and relax. Yeah, it gives you more time to focus on the road, which will make you a safer driver yeah. because less concentration on all the other stuff, more concentration on the road. Obviously, you're going to be more confident, but safer as well. And also, yeah, just on a side note, uh, lots of electric cars, over 3 million electric cars are going to be on road in the next five years. Every electric car is automatic. So there's really a lot of changes happening in driving. So your predictions for... Predictions uh, already now, 52% of cars in the UK as of 2020 are automatic. And in the next five years, I'm guessing it's going to go up to about 60% or higher That's due to easy. the amount of electric cars. So really, we're at that tipping point now okay, where it's going good. into automatic. So uh, forget the manual cars. Everybody, please just move towards automatic cars. Yeah. Uh, increases safety as well. Okay, Definitely. Max, what we're going to do is we're going to get started with your whole course. You haven't Ooh. started any lessons at all, so nope. this is your first official lesson. Yes. I'm here to give the advice to the viewers and also to yourself to help you to learn as simple as possible. And, you know, make it fun and make it interesting yeah, at the same That's time. Okay. okay. Looking forward to it. What we're going to start with is called controls. Okay. I'm just going to go over the basic controls. So in this course, I'll be mentioning just the information that you need, not to overload you with too much information, okay. which isn't necessary, and it can slow down the progress of learning. Okay. So the basic controls, you have A, B, which is accelerator on the far right, brake, which is the bigger pedal in the center of the vehicle. Uh, you do not have C, which would be for the manual cars. So yes. that would be the clutch, just to kind of reference Get that. that out of your life. <laughs> yes, um, it's gone. It is out of your life. So your left foot is completely relaxed. Let's imagine it's on a Caribbean <laughs> cruise somewhere, <laughs> chilling out and uh, maybe having a nice little mock teeny or something can i like swap that. my left leg for my life so i could be there and my left my left leg can do all the work that is an excellent question <laughs> now usually we don't as instructors encourage left foot braking okay. however a little bit of extra information here uh if you're a professional driver like a race car driver it's something that you would need to do oh really but we're not going to that level yet and it can yet. be it can be yeah it can be confusing so for now Left foot's on holiday. Okay, Only cool. the right foot will be doing the work, which would be either accelerating or braking. Okay. So those are your controls for your feet. Yeah? Smashing. Now we're going to go over the controls for your hands, which is there's quite a lot more. Okay, so in a moment we'll start the car. And this car is kind of keyless start. So all you'll need to do is when you're ready to start the engine okay. is press the start button. Okay. And we'll recap that in a second. More... Uh, controls now so we have the indicators this is something we're going to be using when we move away which okay. will be part of the next part of the course okay um and you'll either signal to move right or your signal to move left depending on which way you want okay. to signal or indicate or trafficate depending on what part of the country you are from now if you imagine there's a little bead or a ball bearing here okay if you pushed up on the stick which way would that ball roll off Right. Yes. So up for right. And then if you push down, which way would that little ball roll off? Left. left. So that might help to remember. That's a good, that's a good little analogy. Yeah, huh? it is pretty standard. Up, right, left, down. Good. All right, so that's your indicators. There okay. are more controls on here, which will relate more to the show me, tell me questions. It actually looks like it could be relevant today. Okay. Uh, we tried to plan this so that we had nice <laughs> sunny weather to film and it starts to rain. Okay. But let me just say this. I brought the weather from Scotland to England. I do apologize, guys. <laughs> okay. So when the wipers are here, you twist up for on and twist down for off. Okay. We're going to leave them on an automatic setting and fingers crossed it doesn't rain too much more. 
Okay, so would that automatic set, would that like adjust to the weather conditions? Correct. Or, or what, really? Yes. So if it stops raining, the wipers will automatically stop wiping. Oh, and if really? it starts raining again, yes, they will start wiping again for you. Uh, now okay. that he, uh, Max has asked, which is excellent, that's why Max is on this course to ask these questions that might just go over my head. Now that Max has asked about the automatic, there's two automatic settings. Okay. We're an automatic slow. And if you have a look here, can you see there's three yeah, dots? Yeah, three dots. Dot, dot. Dot. then there's more dots oh okay so if you put it up to the more dots it's more sensitive oh okay and it will wipe faster and so on so oh, forth okay. the lines okay. up here is a manual that means it just continuously okay. keeps wiping even if it stops raining and then the two solid lines is a manual fast oh, okay so it'll go crazy and make me seasick so i'm going to turn <laughs> that off okay so there's your indicators and we went okay. into uh the wipers briefly just because the rain has started now on your very far right uh stick yes are the gears now yes we are in an automatic car but we still do have gears okay the car will select them for us but the main controls we have there are p for park i'll go through that in a moment and how to do that how okay. to activate that and then you have r which is the up arrow on the far right for reverse not race mm -hmm. and then you have d at the bottom which is down for drive um that's what we're going to be using shortly the n in the middle is neutral now neutral we won't use okay but right. there are reasons for using it the only reason would be that comes to the top of my head is a car wash some car washes you would drive forwards into the car wash and your wheels would be put onto a track and okay. that track pulls the car through the car wash okay. now if you're in any gear that puts an opposite force or a kind of hold okay. on the car. So you need to put it in neutral to allow the car to roll, oh, okay. to be free and neutral. Okay. So yeah, if you went to a car wash, you might use that, but we will not be using that on lessons, okay? But I just okay. needed to sh tell you that it's okay. there. And, no, it's and, always good to know. It's yeah, always good to know like a function because it, it all cause confusion when, yes. if I don't know about it, like, okay, what's that? Yes. So, so that's it pretty much. We're covered on our controls. Okay. There are more, but for now, these are the necessary ones. So as it becomes more relevant, I'll go through the rest of the controls with you. Smashing. Right, so now's the fun part, Max. Mm. Your seatbelt's on? There's one, nice Good. and tight. Uh, we have the seat adjusted for Max, but we're just going to briefly go over the seat and mirrors before we move off, because this is called cockpit drill. Whenever you get into a new vehicle, you will need to adjust the mirrors, I'm sorry, the seat first, the mirrors second. Okay. Work from the bottom up. So we're going to adjust the bottom of our seat, back of our seat, Work into the mirrors on the outside of the vehicle. Finally, the highest point, which is the internal mirror and is the easiest to explain. So, Max, what I'd like you to do to just to just triple check that we've got you in a good seated position. You're able to use the controls with your right foot, any pedal, push it down all the way. Good. Yep. And now the other side. All right. Perfect. Now, what I'm looking for is that when Max is pressing the pedals and he's depressed them fully down, that there's still a slight bend in his knee. That means that you're not hyperextended and you're not constricted too yeah. much, that it's uncomfortable and okay. you won't be able to drive safely. So we are in a good seated position here. Now we're gonna move up to your hands to see if we need to move the rake of the seat, which is the back part of the seat. Okay. So if you place your wrist actually to the top of the steering wheel for me, now that looks too straight. Yeah. We need a slight bend in the elbow. So okay, what we're so going to do, move forward a bit. yes, oh, okay. so we're going to move forward. Now, the reason for you having a slight bend in your elbow is that you'll be able to steer safer. Let me think of this and make sure I do this correctly. But from what I've learnt, if you're too close, the steering can be too sharp and quick. And yeah, if we're too far bit. away, we can't steer properly because the wheel's too far off. Okay. So we need to have that slight so bend. just that little, yes. little bend, just for comfort, really. What we have on the side panel is electric controls for moving the electric seat. Okay. We won't be using the bottom one because you're in a good seated position at the bottom for right. the pedals, but we will use the top one. So if you have a look, yes, that's mm -hmm. it, exactly. Press it forward so it moves the back of the seat forwards. Ooh. Excellent. Well, hello. <laughs> now press your uh, wrist to the top of the steering wheel once more. And there we go. Nice bend in the, in the elbows. That was simple. Pretty easy, yeah? Okay. Okay, uh, mirrors. Uh, nice. When we look at the side mirrors, can you see a little bit of the door handle in the bottom corners closest to you? So in your yes. right mirror, 
good. You've got so, the bottom yeah, left yeah, corner. Yeah, bottom left corner. And you've got a door handle more or less in that position. Mm -hmm. That means that the mirror on the right is in the correct position. It's okay. level. There's horizon. It's not facing the sky, not facing the ground. Nice and level. Very small sliver of the car. Majority of the road. Mm -hmm. That's why the mirror's there. So you can see the traffic. Right. Obviously, we've got pavement on the left, but we're going to have a look to the left. And we want the door handle to be in the bottom corner closest to you. So for the left mirror, it'd be the bottom right-hand corner. And can you see the door handle more or less in that position? Um, I actually can't. You can't. No. Okay, so it's disappeared. Yes. Right, there's two different ways of adjusting your mirrors. There's a UK way, there's an American way. Very quickly. So let's look to the UK way, yeah? Okay, UK <laughs> way, we put the door handle in the bottom corner. American way, and it makes a lot of sense. We put the mirror slightly angled out so the door handle disappears, which is what you're seeing okay. at the moment. Okay. The reason for that is when you look over to your left mirror, your peripheral vision is actually going to pick up on where the door handle is. So you don't need the mirror to actually see if someone was standing here where the door mm -hmm. handle is. You're not looking at them. Yeah. But your peripheral vision would pick up on anybody or any hazard yeah. that would be here. Okay. So that's the idea behind the American way. And that gives you an increased field of view of the left side. Oh, okay. Rather than Kinda that little sense. bit of car and road. You just got all road and you'll still see from the peripheral vision any hazards. Okay, that makes so, sense. So, um, just to make the video shorter, Max, we'll keep it this way. Keep the American way. Okay. Cool. Okay. No uh, the controls would be down here and you would move them electronically. They are different in all vehicles, but mo mostly your controls would be on your far right hand side. Yes, and that's yeah, where yeah. you have your controls. Okay. Different buttons to select different mirrors, and the arrows would move the mirrors once you've selected which mirror it is that you want to move. Okay. We're going to move on. We're going to come into our tonal mirror, and this one's the easiest to explain. So there's two different ways of explaining this. The four corners of the back mirror in the four corners of your, sorry, the four corners of the back window in the four corners of your internal mirror. Yes. Another way of explaining this is see as much of the back window as possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Max, we're going to start the vehicle. We're going to now move on to the next topic. We've covered the cockpit drill, we've covered the controls, and we're going to move on to moving and off and stopping. Okay, so if good. everybody's uh, here and excited about moving off and stopping, <laughs> it's the next category. So why don't you go check that out and uh, we'll see you at moving off and stopping. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>